All right, guys, so many of you may have known, may have known, may know that I got a new iMac and it arrived just the other day and I'm feeling a little bit better, not 100%, but definitely a little bit better. Sore throat is still there, but other than that, it's slowly going on the right direction, which is great. So I decided I was finally going to try and attempt to put the RAM in and I figured I'd show you how to do that just in case you've never got an iMac before and you also wanted to install more RAM in it. Now, first thing to be aware of, this is only doable on the 27 inch. So if you have a 21 inch, what you bought is what you get. But on the 27s, you can install more memory. You just have to do it yourself. Considerably cheaper, way cheaper. And uh, we'll bring the iMac over here right now and we'll show you how to do it. All right, so here's the iMac right here. It's off. I've had it set up and been playing with it just to make sure everything was working because the last thing you want to do is put memory in it and then something's not right and you don't know if it was working before you put the memory in or not. So before you put your RAM in, I always recommend turning it on, getting it set up, make sure all the software is working, make sure the existing memory is working properly. And this was, once that's all verified, then we can turn it off and we can install memory. So I've got here a little 32 gig kit that I got. This is uh, Kingston RAM, I think it is, Kingston HyperX, whatever I found it, it was on sale. So it's two 16 gig sticks, nice and simple, because at some point I may want to remove the existing two four gig sticks that are in here and put another 32, which would put me up to 64 down the road. So always think about what you may want to do in the future. Two 32 gig sticks right now, a little pricey for my budget, so this was this was good because eight gigs just wasn't doing it for me. It may be fine for you guys, so don't go buy an extra memory if you don't need to. Just, just watch, know that you can in the future. So make sure this is unplugged, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go put it on a table. Make sure you can find yourself a nice soft blanket or something because we're gonna have to lay it face down, and we're gonna do that right now. All right guys, so you've got kind of the hardest part done already. Getting the computer down on the table, getting this up, and you're gonna get your RAM ready. So again, I have my RAM right here. You guys can see that, hopefully. There's my RAM. That's that HyperX that I have. But really you're just looking for, on the new machine, 2666 DDR2 SoDim laptop RAM really is what you're looking for. And this kit that I got, came in around 180 ish dollars 170 180 i got it on sale so that's great now hopefully you guys can see this a point on one side so there's a little button here so you have to remove the power little button right there you guys can see it right there and all you're going to do is push that now you may want to get yourself like a little screwdriver or something that you can use to push this so i have one of these and we're just going to give this a little push right here and you should see the door lift up so that door comes, it's just friction based. Good push on here, really anything that can push that. If you don't want to scratch it, so I'm using something that's plastic. Now I can just lift that up the remainder of the way, put that over there, and now you have your memory. Now you will see that there are four slots. So there's one, two, three, four. So if you were to label these A, B, C, and D, the memory right now is in B and D. And that's fine if you are going to be putting the same memory in all the time. So if you were putting another two fours, then they could go like this. But because we're mismatching, we're not putting in another two fours, we're actually putting in two 16s. If we were to put the two 16s in these two slots, the memory would actually run at a slower speed. So we need to move these so that we can put them beside each other and we can put the 16 gigs beside each other. So basically we're gonna take these two you should see there's two little arrows on them pointing out. We're just gonna pull them out and this lifts up. Again, just pull out so they just push out like this. Again, two arrows pointing out, which is excellent. And all we're gonna do is pull these chips out here. And I'm gonna take this one and put it in the slot right beside the other four gig. And all you do is you just push that in until it kind of snaps. Get your two new pieces of RAM and you wanna make sure that 
the smaller side, so the notch that's closer to the left is where we're going. So just gonna take that, make sure they slide in nice. Give it a push, in it goes. Excellent. Grab the other one, same idea. Just kind of get it in there. There she goes. In, 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 in. We're gonna take these, push these back down. They should slide back again. You're gonna push them out so that they go into the spot and get them in there. And that and that should be it. Again, this is a friction plate. So we're gonna take that, kind of just line it up on there. And a nice little snug. And we're good, that's it. Now all we have to do is take this back over there and we're gonna plug it in and see if the machine actually comes up with 32 and eight, so 40 gigs of RAM. Should be a nice increase. Let's go turn it on. All right guys, so we have the computer set back up. It's a little further over than I wanted. Make sure that I don't push that off the table because that's kind of important. And we are gonna boot it up see what happens right here ready now the original boot can take a little longer as it has to initialize the new memory so just kind of be aware of that yeah so that definitely took oh i'd say it took about 20 to 30 seconds so it is a little concerning when you first do it and you're like uh what's wrong but the more memory you put in the more it has to initialize. I believe that's the instance. So because I put 32 gigs, it had to get that memory ready for the system. So if you put larger amounts of RAM in, that boot up section may take a little longer. Okay, the machine's all booted up. Looks like it's functioning, which is great. So we're just gonna go up to the top here, here about this Mac, and you will see 40 gigs of RAM. So if we hit that memory, we'll see 16 gigs, 16 gigs, four and four. Now. Just be aware that if you do put them staggered, so if it was 16.4, 16.4, or 4.16, 4.16, if they're not the same memory, we may see the memory slow down, all the way down to like 21.66 or 21.33, I can't remember which number it comes up, and that's gonna slow our memory down. If it was all 16s across the board, then it really wouldn't matter. But when we are mixing and matching, just make sure that they kind of go in this way because we get a little bit of a better speed increase in our memory. Anyways, there you go, guys. If you're only installing two chips, of course, keep the other two in there. Just make sure they go two and two. And if you're putting in four 16s or just two more fours or four 32s, doesn't matter where you put them. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Memory installed. Now this machine is should be moving. We're gonna come back to this machine in a little bit. We're gonna do some speed tests just to see how well it actually performs now up against my 16 inch MacBook Pro. All right, my friends, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hope this video was helpful and uh, we will see you again probably tomorrow. Later.